Phenylparacetam Hydrazide Supplement Review. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this Phenylparacetam Hydrazide. This is probably one of my favorite supplements that I've come across in a long time. This might even be my favorite mood boosting supplement that I've come across since Kratom. I absolutely love this stuff. If you guys have been following my channel, I just did a review on something called FL Adrafinal, and FL Adrafinal kind of blew me away. It gave me this long lasting stimulation, but also relaxation effect that I've never really had in a stimulant. Like tell me a stimulant that stimulates you and relaxes you at the same time. I haven't found that and I found that with FL Adrafinal, but I was taking the FL Adrafinal quite a bit. I was getting a little bit of brain fog. I was feeling a little bit weird. So I ended up taking a break from the FL Adrafinal and slowly introduced this phenol paracetam hydrazide. And when I was first getting into it, I was kind of mixed. When I first took this, I didn't really feel it that much. I felt almost nothing. But again, I didn't really notice the dosage. I think I maybe underdosed it. And then on top of that, if I was used to FL adrafinal, FL adrafinal lasts, I mean, hours and hours and hours, way longer than this. So if I was used to the adrafinal coming over to this, I just needed to get the dosing down right. So first I took it, I didn't really notice it. Then I would notice about 60 to 90 minutes of really good, slightly euphoric stimulation. And what's cool about the euphoria that I get from this is that it's not like so much euphoria that you do something dumb, so much euphoria that you just end up making mistakes or you're not thinking clearly. But you do have a little bit of that with here just because you do feel good, but for the most part, you're very balanced. You're very in control. This stuff has absolutely blown me away. It actually feels like it's healing my brain. And from the research that I've done about it, it's supposed to increase receptors in your brain, which is kind of like the opposite of a lot of other drugs. Like you do like a bunch of meth, basically just puts tons of dopamine in your body. And your body is like, we have so much dopamine, we could start shutting down these dopamine receptors because we have so much dopamine. Like we don't need all these receptors because we have too much, but you only have too much because of the artificial drug. So when you stop taking it, your body has literally gotten rid of these receptors. So now it feels just like crap. This is supposed to, from my understanding, again, feel free to correct me. This is supposed to increase receptors in your brain. So the thing that you feel that's good is your body creating more receptors and then that chemical is activating with you more because there's more receptors. Basically, in order for you to feel anything good, it needs to be in your bloodstream and it needs to connect into a receptor. That's all of what makes you feel good. That's everything, that's how everything works. So having more receptors naturally, it's almost like healing your brain or kind of like reversing the damage that dopamine drugs would do. Like if you took Adderall or meth for a long time, from the literature that I've studied, this actually will heal your brain from years of that abuse because it's actually going to increase the amount of receptors in your brain. If you combine it with another substance, say this substance puts a bunch of something in your body, well now this one increases the receptors, so now they work better. This supplement puts things in your body and this supplement creates more receptors for it to be activated in. Kind of hard to describe, but it seems to be more of a neuroprotective. That's even um, noted online. It's supposed to actually help protect your brain. So um, it seems like it is uh, kind of like a mix between a nootropic and a drug, but it's much more closer to a nootropic than something like FL Adrafinal, which in my opinion is a little bit closer to something like a drug. And also this uh, is a prescription or phenylparacetam by itself is a prescription in Russia and I think somewhere else. This is the hydrazide version, which is very, very, very similar, but at the same time, it isn't exactly phenylparacetam. So it may have a little bit of extra benefits, but from my understanding, from when I've compared this to what people talk about phenylparacetam, it's pretty much the same thing. Phenylparacetam was created by the Russians, I think the 80s, and they were looking for a stimulant, a brain booster for their astronauts. This is a prescription in Russia, and I think somewhere else. And when they sell it in a prescription, they sell it in 100 milligram pills so um, because this is powder you can choose how much you want so i would kind of 
use that as kind of like your baseline. You know, the normal pill is about 100, so you're probably gonna want, you know, around 100, maybe 200, I would say that's about the go-to. I've been using like a 30 milligram scooper and I do these like two or three huge scoops. I'm kind of aiming for about 150 milligrams. That's kind of usually about where I go. Again, I'm guessing I haven't like weighed it out. This is I'm really unlike any other stimulant that I've ever, I've ever come across. It is not really that jittery. It's not really that anxious and you feel stimulated without something like pushing you. It's hard to describe. Let's jump into the pros I have with this supplement. The pros is that it is the strongest racetam. So again, I have not done tons and tons of research on racetams. They are in almost no nootropic blends. And I'll ask you right now, have you heard of racetams? If you are just a subscriber on my channel, you probably haven't heard of them. If you've Googled this, then you probably have heard of them. But phenylparacetam is supposed to be the strongest, most stimulating racetam. And I think there is something called paracetam, and that's kind of on its own, just a nootropic, but they added a phenyl group to it, which makes it much, much more potent. And I think most racetams, it's like 500 to maybe 1,000, even up to more of that. So you need a higher dose of this, but because it has that phenyl group, it makes it much more potent and you only need about 100 to 200 milligrams so it does provide very very good effects for mental and physical stimulation one of the first times i took this i went to the gym had a great workout and i've seen other people say they take this before a run things like that absolutely love it then another pro of this is that it has kind of like a balancing effect it's very hard to describe but it has like an anti-anxiety effect in the russian literature on this one that they said that they found that as well and so for me, finding a stimulant that is also anti-anxiety is just like, wow, that is next level. It feels so much more like it's something that's helping my body instead of something that's like getting me high and that I'm gonna have to pay for later on, if that makes sense. People have claimed that if you take this a lot, there is gonna be some withdrawal symptoms. And I could see that because it just works so good, you know, so I could see there being some, but again, I found that my brain felt a little bit more balanced after taking it. So if I jump into the mixed aspect, it's mainly the half-life of this one. Uh, when I was first getting into it, the half-life's about three to five hours, and I would feel it for about 60 to 90 minutes, and I'm like, man, I just want a little bit more feeling out of it, just a hair, you know? But after taking it a lot, it has a little bit of this lingering effect. It's hard to describe. Like, sometimes I can feel just a little bit more awake five, six, seven hours later, but again, it's not like any other normal cracked out stimulation. It's just like, oh like i don't feel as tired i feel a little bit more awake but besides that i don't really feel much of anything so i'm kind of mixed on the half life there's times where i wanted it to be longer and then other times that i wanted it to be a little bit less so i would say actually so far kind of like it because i get the option to take it later in the day and then the cons i have with this one only a few and they're pretty obvious so one of the cons i have is the taste, I wish the taste was so much better on this one because it would be so easy to just put it in a drink and sip on the drink all day. But it is really bitter when I do those big scoops. I have like a flavored drink right there. Put the scoop in, chase it, put the scoop in, chase it. It is very noticeable, it is nasty. It is probably a little bit worse than DMA and DMHA and not as bad as teacrine in my opinion, but with all the other pros and such little cons, okay, I'll get around it. And then the other con that I have is that it is the hydrazide variant. Now I do think that the hydrazide variant was also studied in Russia and I think it maybe was patented, I'm not sure. The main one they go with is just phenylparacetam. So the hydrazide variant isn't as studied. So, you know, typically you want something with lots of studies on it, something that's really flushed out. So there may be a little bit of aspects to this that isn't really researched. But when I look at the chemical structure, these are very, very, very similar almost interchangeable from my understanding, but again, I'd have to try the original. So the only cons that I have is that it has bad taste and it is the hydrazide variant. It is not the normal phenylparacetam. But anyways, guys, I was absolutely blown away by this supplement. If you see my video on ephyladrafinil, I was freaking blown away about that supplement. I was literally on eBay trying to buy multiple research chemicals that were close to adrafinil, close to modafinil. It's like, this is like my favorite, most interesting drug was the FL adrafinil. And now it's been completely destroyed by this. I love this stuff. This stuff is like me, in a stimulant, I, I don't know how anything could even touch it. You feel so good, you feel so balanced, and you feel so normal. 
how could you go wrong? But anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully, you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.